or if you want to import quantities from other locations or if you want to um, import uh, discontinued items or purchase orders from all locations and so forth. Um, so you have uh, several different options of what you want to either pare down and not, not import or if you want to be able to, uh, to import your customers or not. So there's several different options you have here on, on that. Um, hope the audio is better. Hope apologize if there's been an uh, uh, issue with that uh, on, the, on the phone line here. But uh, hopefully uh, everybody can hear me a little bit better. Um, I haven't missed much if you haven't been able to, uh, so I'll, I'll be getting into the, uh, to, to the meat of, of the app here right now. So basically once the import is complete, and I'm not going to go through the import since we just did that, but, but you can see here on the top of the screen it's going to display the, the last time you did a sync of your data. So you have all the up-to-date purchase orders, items, inventory levels, quality on hand, and so forth. Um, so you should be able to... Uh, you should be able to, uh, to, to have all that data as of, uh, you know, whatever time you last synced. So once the import's complete, you can be disconnected, be no wireless, be offline, and be able to do all the, all the work you need to. So the only time you have to have a connection is when you're going to do that, that sync, and then, of course, when you're going to send any data back over to CounterPoint. So once the import's complete, I'm ready to just hit the back button here. And I'm going to use my mouse, as you might imagine, just to be able to see, um, see where you're tapping on the screen. You can always use a directional pad, you know, if your device has a directional pad, um, or you can just you know, tap on the screen with the stylus, your, your thumb, what have you. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is um, hit your user ID. Um, this is going to make sure that um, the batch gets assigned appropriately. Um, as many of you probably know, the batch ID is tied in depending on the admin rights for, for receiving and so forth. So without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and um, dig into the, the module. It's going to start with item lookup. Um, and as you might imagine, that's just going to give you the ability to, to scan an item. I'm just going to pick up a barcode here and just scan a scan a barcode. So as soon as you scan, it's going to bring that up and bring you some of the, 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 the critical information that may be helpful, uh, showing you the regular price, uh, your price one, your cost, and, and your margin. There's options and settings um, that uh, will allow you to hide your cost and thus hide your margin if you don't want your employees to be able to see that. Um, there is uh, what we call an edit mode. So by tapping menu and then edit mode, you get the ability to edit any data that is by settings allowed. So since the, the price and the regular price is not allowing me to change that, that indicates that in settings I've made it to where you cannot edit that price. So obviously that's something you can turn, you know, turn on and off, toggle on and off, depending on who's going to be using, using the, um, the device. Um, but if you want to make an edit to bin 1, you can in this case. Um, the quantity on hand is showing as quantity 12. Since I imported quantities from other location, it's going to show me what I have on hand in other locations. So if you need to see that information, uh, a lot of times that's useful for you to be able to see when you're trying to help a customer out. Um, yeah, let me just get back and out and look up. If you don't have a barcode, so by definition, there's a, a you know, this is a way to look up your database. So you have all these different ways to pare down and do a search for for an item that you may be you know trying to see some information on. So obviously, by description is the most common, um, but by long description is certainly an option. Um, and you also have uh, the ability to do by extended description, by by vendor item code, etc. Um, just kind of give you an example of, of by description. Um, if I just tap in this area right here and just type in a couple letters, let me see if I can find an item to my database and just tap go, it's going to bring up all the items that match that. Anything with CAR in the description anywhere, it will pull that up. So um, naturally when you select that item, it will bring that information up here. The add barcode um, is a way if you if you know that you uh, have the item but you want to add a new barcode to, to, an existing, uh, to this existing item, I can just tap that, and then I'll, from here I can just scan a, a barcode, and then it'll, it'll pull that in. And then the barcode IDs, these are all pulled in from the, your CounterPoint database to be able to show you what kind of barcode ID. I'm assuming most of you are not going to have that many barcode IDs. Um, you may just have one for UPC or alternate one, what have you. But whatever you have in the system here is what we'll pull down. Um, if by chance you just happen to choose barcode ID 3 and this item already has barcode ID 3, 
it will let you it will let you know that. And um, I'm sorry, it, it will not override um, what uh, what's already in there. But it will let you know. In this case, as you can see, that I just tried to enter in a an existing uh, barcode that already existed in my database. So obviously, it's not going to let you do that. Um, most times, you're going to find your uh, new barcode during the receiving process, and I'll get to that shortly. And basically, it'll just show you the basically the same thing. Um, we are adding. There is a uh, what we call a, a real time wireless mode. When that's on, what that's doing is it's looking directly at your CounterPoint database um, live. Obviously, you need to have a wireless network for that. Um, it's really one of the only times I would say you have to have a wireless network. But if you want to have the, the Tumi Inventory app ping the database directly and pull down up to the second uh, information on quantity on hand and so forth, there's an option for that as well. Um, we do have ability to do a couple things here. We have um, options for, for label printing. So if you, we, we integrate with a couple different manufacturers for, for printing a label. So if you wanted to print a label right here on the spot, um, there's a little Bluetooth label printer you can have on your hip or on your shoulder and be able to, uh, to go ahead and print a label. We can customize that for you to, to meet whatever specs you have uh, for that. So if you want to scan an item and then hit print a label and then tell how many, you can. Um, the print on scan option is is, a, is very helpful because uh, some of our customers requested like I don't want to have to scan it and then be able to tell that I want to print a label. So that option, what that does is, as soon as you scan that barcode, it's automatically going to print quantity one of that label. So it's a very handy feature to be able to just go around your store and and be able to uh, to uh, to print labels as you go. Um, Moving.